morning everyone it is an absolutely beautiful day we've had some soaring temperatures yesterday it's around 25 degrees here so first things i'm going to do is empty the greenhouse because it is too hot in here at the moment for some of these plants these are sort of colder climate plants rather than your tomatoes and your squash that would actually be quite suited to this temperature in here so give me one minute and i shall clear the greenhouse as I cleared the greenhouse, I thought I would quickly go through some of the crops that we've got in here. So we've got the pak choy that is growing absolutely lovely. We've got some beetroot that's a bit floppy, but that'll be fine. It'll do. Then we've got the fennel that's growing lovely and more pak choy in here. We've got loads of rocket and then some lovely salads. They're coming along nicely. Hopefully we'll be able to divide all them for some neighbours. We've got calendula, we've got the bunny tails grass, and then I think that's carnation in the back. And then we've got some lovely sunflowers um, and then everything else. I'm just waiting for it to come up. Well, we do have some cornflowers. This is where I have been putting my seedlings next to the wildlife area on those new paving slabs that we put down. In the afternoon, this gets a really nice dappled shade. So that is what you want because these plants aren't going to like a random 25, 26 degrees today, which is what we're forecast to get. Now, yeah, I water these and then I shall start sowing my brassicas. If you didn't know already, I absolutely love growing lettuces. Um, Sometimes they turn out really small and sometimes they turn out absolutely huge. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we get this year. I'm not really sure where I'm going to plant anything at the moment, but I shall figure it out. Olive's now having a little issue because there's a big, I don't know, raven? Crow? No idea, but Olive doesn't like it, do you darling? Even though you're bigger than it. You are, you are bigger than it. I can get the seagull thing, I understand that, but... I find brassicas really easy to grow. The main things that you need to worry about is slug damage. I find that slugs and caterpillars are the worst two things for them, which is why I always sow my brassicas into a pot rather than direct sowing them. So then they get a bit bigger before the slugs come and then I net mine instantly. Um, I do a method of putting down a weed suppressant membrane on the ground, planting into that, netting them, and then that means that I literally don't have to touch them until I want to harvest them, because I can just water through the netting and there's no weeds to deal with. So that's what I do. As I say, I absolutely love cabbages. So I have a huge array that I'm going to be doing this year. So Brussels sprouts, I normally do a couple of different types of these. Um, so they're Trafalgar, I think I've got another one somewhere. It's about playing cards. Oh, there it is. Brodeek. So they are the two Brussels sprouts that I'm doing. These are the Calabrese and Romanesco. They are the ones I tried last year. They were up first, harvest first, um, and they were brilliant. Absolutely love them. So I'm definitely going to grow a few more of them. Alaska, it's like a Savoy cabbage, that one's great as well. Kalibos, Kalibos, Kalibo. Um, so that is a pointed red cabbage one, but it's really quick growing. So again, this one's perfect if you want to wait for the um, normal standard red cabbage to come. The Zen Calabrese, again, so that's like a broccoli. It's not a broccoli, but it is a broccoli. It tastes like broccoli. Just grows a lot quicker. Um, so again, this is um, what I was picking from just a couple of weeks ago. I won't be doing the purple sprouting broccoli this year because I just found it took too long to do. So yeah, going to be going that one. This one's a new one for me, Red Rookie. This was meant to be for our wedding, but you know, don't know what's going on there. That one I've tried before as well. That's really good perfection. Cauliflower, I absolutely love cauliflower. So that one is the all year round cauliflower. Um, you can't get much better than that. It's always worked for me. They always come out huge and they never bolt. So that's great. New cabbage again, Marabelle, Marabelle. I just like the look of it because it's pink. Probably not a good idea to base your seed sowing on whether it looks pretty or not. This one is a Chinese, what is it? 
Wawasai. Um, so that one I grew last year and it went absolutely crazy. It grew really big and then it turns out that everything loves eating them. So I literally didn't even pick any of them last year because they got eaten to death. And then finally I've got kale which is black magic. So yeah, that is what I've got. I'm running out of modules now. Um, so normally I do them in modules but I'm running out of them. So I'm going to use this big old seed tray that I probably stole from my parents. This is the last of my seed compost, so if you don't have any, go on to multi-purpose compost. You know, we don't really have a choice at the moment, and that's what I'll be doing when this little bit's gone. I have got all my plant labels labeled up. I've filled this, I ended up mixing multi-purpose compost with the seed compost because I didn't have enough. I've uh, got my seeds and a little dibber to make some little trenches, so. I'm going to sow these in sort of rows, a bit similar like I did with the carrots the other day. All you need to do is just make a little shallow trench in your seed tray. Right. The seeds are tiny. It's amazing that a tiny seed like that can grow into a huge cabbage. So all I'm going to do is drop a few, probably with a few centimetres in between. Normally, I'd only grow probably two, three plants of each variety, but with the So Grow share, I am doing a lot this year, so then I can give some away. So that one is Trafalgar, let's find that. There it is, and just cover it over. Couldn't be simpler, they don't need to be planted deep, just about half a centimetre under the soil. And again, if you water these before the soil, before you uh, sow the seeds, and then it won't disperse the seeds. So yeah, it is, couldn't be simpler. That is all you need to do. Make a shallow drill. And then as soon as these start coming up and getting their true leaves, I shall pop them on. Me and Olive are going to get out of here now because it is just too hot already. It's only about 10 in the morning. Um, I don't have a thermometer in here, but I know outside temperature is going to get up to about 25 today. Um, so yes, if you are going to do brassicas, I would recommend that you do them outdoors rather than indoors. I find the lack of light quality and also the temperature just makes them go really leggy rather than putting on the, that good uh, root system. So if you don't have an unheated greenhouse, you can put them outside, just somewhere sheltered. Um, and if you've got a heavy frost uh, forecast, then just bring them in for the night. This bank holiday weekend, I've got absolutely tons planned. I've got loads to do in the garden, but I've also need to plant up my dahlias. But desperately need doing. Um, my greenhouse could do it with a good clean because it's filthy and I need to sow lots and lots of seeds. Um, I will go through what I'm sowing as I do it but yes loads of seed sowing this weekend and um, yeah it's a beautiful one so enjoy.